coronavirus antibody testing is now here in Lubbock. What's the process like and how long does it take? Well, I went through it today and I'll tell you about it. Hey everyone, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. You can follow me on Twitter at Chad HD Radio on Twitter. Covenant uh, set up uh, two different, uh, well, it's one location, two different uh, uh, RVs, basically, uh, for antibody testing here in Lubbock. And boy, on uh, Thursday, they were packed. Uh, they opened up the first day on Wednesday. Saw about 150 uh, people go through and uh, get tested for uh, for antibodies. Uh, now, if you're wondering what that means, it's a thought that a lot of people have already been exposed to coronavirus. Uh, a lot of people are asymptomatic, meaning they don't show any symptoms whatsoever of having coronavirus, whether they had it in the past, you know, months ago. Uh, I've had listeners who have called me who have said, Chad, we swear we had it. Uh, you know, we, we, we had a cough. Uh, you know, uh, we were short on breath, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, like either chest pains or body pains or whatever. And then we thought it was, you know, either pneumonia or the flu and we got tested for it, uh, back in uh, January and, and, and it came up as negative for pneumonia, negative for the flu. We don't know what we had, but we had something. Well, if you ever felt that way, or if you're just curious, you can go by and you can get tested. Uh, so uh, the folks over at Covenant have set up this site uh, over at 98th and Slide Road. It's absolutely free. It does not cost you anything. You have to have insurance and you have to be over the age of 18. Uh, and if you're going to get tested, enter on Slide Road and you enter the little Covenant uh, you know, area right off of Slide Road. If you try to get in on uh, 98th Street, uh, where you see the RVs, uh, you're you're just going to be sent all the way to the back of the line. Uh, it is a long line. If you are, uh, you know, if you enter and you get stopped right at, uh, you know, Slide Road in the entrance, uh, you're probably going to have to wait about an hour or so in order to get tested. Now, you're in your car the entire time. You're, you're moving up, you're moving along, so you can go and listen to KFYO while you're in your car getting ready to be uh, tested. But what happens is you uh, you sit in your car, they take your temperature, uh, they, you know, take a picture of you and, and, and uh, of your insurance stuff. Uh, you, you move up, you don't pay a dime. It's zero dollar copay. Uh, you keep moving up, you keep moving up in line. And then finally, uh, they'll get to you. They, they will fill out a form for you. Uh, and then they will have you go and park in a parking space and they will text you whenever it's your time to go and get blood drawn inside the trailer. The process of getting your blood drawn and everything else, that takes no time at all. I mean, you're, you're in there. Uh, it takes uh, about a vial that's about that big or so. Uh, what was told to me is that they send the blood off to Dallas, uh, that it gets tested in Dallas, and then about three to within three to four days of you being tested, Covenant gets the results, and then Covenant will uh, send you a letter letting you know whether or not you tested positive for antibodies uh, for COVID-19. Uh, there are some businesses that are going to make their employees probably go and get this done. Um, you know, uh, there are just others like me. Uh, I, I've never shown any symptoms of being sick or anything else, at least not since, uh, you know, December or anything. I don't remember having a cough. Definitely don't remember ever having a fever or anything else. But I am interested, and, and one of the, the main points of this is to find out just how much penetration COVID-19 has had in our community. We've seen in uh, different communities around the U.S. Uh, that uh, there are, it's basically much higher numbers than what they initially expected that have been, uh, you know, uh, introduced to coronavirus already uh, who have these antibodies. Uh, according to uh, KMAC, uh, the test sites available for any healthy individual over the age of 18. Sick patients will not be seen at this location. Antibody testing will be done inside two wellness buses uh, that are at Covenant Health Southwest Medical Park off of 98th and Slide Road. Testing done 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. And uh, again, it's it's a real simple process. Uh, you know, if you're scared of needles or whatever, it's like you're, you're uh, you know, they're, they're just drawing a little bit of blood. It's not that bad. Uh, the, the workers were in a good mood. Wear a mask. You're going to have to wear a mask 
uh, when you go. You're going to have to wear a mask when you're inside giving blood. So that is something for you to know. But other than having to take your own mask, uh, other than uh, having to uh, show proof of insurance and showing an ID, that's really all you have to have. Oh, and be over the age of 18. Uh, I think it's going to be good for Lubbock to know uh, just uh, about an idea of uh, how many people have already been uh, exposed to COVID-19. And uh, hopefully this will go a long way in doing that. And we'll see what the results look like. Uh, I'll let you know uh, what my results come back as, uh, as well in a uh, future afternoon brief. Tune in to the Chad Easty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.